The Toronto Blue Jays have signed Joey Votto to a minor league deal with an invite to camp. I, I mean, this is this is the homecoming that we were all hoping for. Unfortunately, it's five years too late for Joey Votto, but it's still a great story nonetheless, and there's no downside to this move for the Blue Jays. So we'll break that down and much more in this episode of Jays Digest. What's up, Jays fans? I'm your host, Peter Vionis, alongside host Nick Gossin. Excuse the audio, excuse the camera, excuse everything that is wrong with my half of this video because I just finished work and uh, had to rush to get this one out. So thanks to Nick for waiting the 40 minutes uh, in, in order for the both of us to be in this video here. Uh, but Nick, some news coming out of Jays land as they've landed Joey Votto, one of the more interesting characters in baseball, uh, a Canadian, one of the greatest Canadian players ever as well. So this is just a great move on the surface, a great guy to bring into the clubhouse. We're not sure what kind of impact it's going to have because the Blue Jays signed Justin Turner earlier in the offseason who figures to be their everyday DH. But on a team that doesn't have too many left-handed hitters with power, and Joey Votto did flash some power last season, even in his age 39 season, this could be a move that could be underrated. And if he does break camp, if he does make the team, I wouldn't be shocked if he's uh, pretty impactful this year for the Blue Jays. Yeah, he's probably competing with Daniel Vogelbach and a couple of the other guys there. A quick reminder before we get into it to hit the subscribe button. About 73% of you aren't subscribed. Now, Peter, we had discussed this move or this move before it happened off camera a little bit, and <laughs> neither of us really thought that it was going to go down. But ultimately, it, it did, and you can see here now it dropped about 14 minutes ago saying Joey Votto has agreed to a non-roster invite with the Blue Jays. He is back, and then it was confirmed by Joey Votto himself. There's tons of different stuff. He said, I'm excited about the opportunity to work my way back to the major leagues. It's even sweeter to attempt this while wearing the uniform of my hometown team, the Toronto Blue Jays. Now, from an organizational standpoint, I'm not sure the sense that this makes necessarily. Again, he's going to be competing with Daniel Vogelbach. This is just a crazy move. I didn't think it was going to happen. He's going to be competing with Daniel Vogelbach in spring training. We're going to see Joey Votto play with a Blue Jays uniform on over the next however many two or three weeks. Peter... Do you think there's a chance that he outcompetes Daniel Vogelbach for that kind of DH spot? Because I will say that he is obviously from Canada, but that aside, he brings a lot of intangibles that you would want to have when it comes to a guy who's not going to be playing very much on the bench. That being said, 2021 was his last great season. The past couple years, he's been pretty rough. He still hits for a little bit of power, not as much as Daniel Vogelbach, but maybe they choose Joey Votto over Daniel Vogelbach if there's room for either of them. Um, just because of the intangibles, depending on how they uh, they do going forward. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, personally, I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't make that choice. But let's put the baseball aside. I mean, just having Joey Votto in this organization, even if it's for a couple of weeks, is, is amazing. I, I mean, the guy's such a character. He's such a great clubhouse guy. He, he, he stood by the Cincinnati Reds all those years, even when they were garbage and Nick, you should have pulled up our text messages because I thought there was no way that this could have happened here. You texted me a screenshot of, of Buster the only. Blue Jays having interest in uh, in Joey Votto. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think we should do a video on that. That's stupid. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> and then you texted me saying that they signed him. So I was it was just a roller coaster of emotions for me for, from the 1 o'clock to the 2 o'clock hour today. But uh, I'm just excited to see him in camp. I, I don't know if he's going to make an impact on the field. I don't know if he's a better hitter than Daniel Vogelback at this point of his career. I don't think he is. If we're answering the question honestly, we got to put the Canadian bias aside. We've got to put our bias of just Joey Votto in general aside. I think Vogelbach can help this team more because he has more power and he's younger. And I think you can get more out of him at this stage in their respective careers. But who knows? What if Joey Votto is rejuvenated? And he didn't play too many games last year. He dealt with some injuries. He did show some power in the limited action that he had. So if he can come in and show that he's not overmatched, if he still has the bat speed, and if he can still connect with uh, with some home runs, uh, I mean, sure, why not? It's it, it could definitely add some more marketability to your team as opposed to having Daniel Vogelbach, although I do believe that Danny Burgers is a pretty marketable player in himself as well. But Joey Votto is one of the greatest Canadian players ever, and you have him in your organization now. And if he performs in the next couple of weeks, maybe he might break camp, and maybe he will be impactful. But 
I just don't know how much either of those two guys are going to play just because Justin Turner was brought in here to be the everyday DH. And when in terms of production, I think he's the more productive player out of those three. I, I tend to agree. Definitely Justin Turner. And then this also came out from uh, from Ben Nicholson Smith there just very recently saying, per source, Joey Votto was drawing interest from other contending teams before agreeing to a deal with the Blue Jays. Now, this is a little bit uh, surprising. So Ben Nicholson Smith kind of dropped that little bomb there. <laughs> so other contending teams were going for Joey Votto, and he ultimately decided to sign with the Jays. Probably because, I mean, whether it's because we gave him the best offer, the most guaranteed. I can't imagine it would be the most guaranteed playing time necessarily. So I don't really know the exact reason that he chose the Blue Jays. Obviously, hometown, Canada, all that. But other contending teams are going for him, Peter. So I have to think there is some sort of chance, not necessarily a great chance, but a decent chance that if he performs well, they will take him in. And even, again, to mentor the young guys, he's been around forever and I don't know. I, I mean, I love it. Whether he makes a team or not, we get to see Joey Votto kind of just play for the Toronto Blue Jays, yeah. even if it's in a spring training thing. But I think there is a chance, depending on what his bat speed looks like. It's just two years ago, even at the age of 37, he was playing very well in 2021 or 36, whatever the exact age was. And he was fine and very good before that as well. Can he rekindle some of that? Kind of like Justin Turner did a little bit uh, with the Red Sox. Doubtful. But it is possible, and that upside is uh, is is there, and he has the clubhouse protected. But other contending teams, Peter, were, were in on Votto, which is a little surprising to me. But sure, but but I I also look at it this way: maybe he's transitioning into a career in media as well, and and that could be that could be the case. Seriously, seriously, like we saw with the Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, and now Wayne Simmons is on TV working for TSN doing trade deadline coverage and. He was on the Leafs uh, last year, a couple years ago. So that's another way. You, you go to your hometown, you retire over there, you see if you have anything left to give in terms of athletics, and then maybe you hang it up and you transition into the booth. And I wouldn't be shocked if if Joey Votto makes his way into a commentary booth because he is one of the more interesting characters. He is one of the most well-liked characters in Major League Baseball. And if he doesn't have it, if he can't find that power that – Maybe he had a couple of years ago. If he doesn't have the bat speed to compete at the big league level, then I wouldn't be shocked if that's what we see Joey Votto doing uh, in a month or two. But right now, it's a great story. Uh, we're going to monitor it throughout spring training. If he can get hot, if he can have a, a few good at-bats, string together some good plate appearances, then maybe he might break camp and maybe he'll be impactful. But it's just great to see one of the best Canadian baseball players ever on the Blue Jays. Again, a little bit too late for my liking. I wish they would have brought him home a few years ago because he would have really helped this Blue Jays team a few years ago. But he's here now, and let's see what he can give, and it's just going to be a great story to monitor over the next few weeks. Yeah, and that'll wrap it up. He, uh, it's also good to see that he's excited to uh, to be playing with his uh, with his comments about joining the uh, well, joining the Blue Jays on a minor league deal. But that'll wrap it up. Some, some funny news. Not even funny, very surprising. I'm very surprised that this even began to become a consideration for the Jays. Maybe you're, the media thing is right. Maybe they're just doing him a solid because he couldn't, you know, get a great deal elsewhere or maybe there's a chance that he actually makes a team let us know in the comments down below and if you want to check out our video from yesterday click on your screen now we'll see you tomorrow